Welcome to today's learning. Today we are going to learn on how to install a premium SSL certificate to your VPS using Cyber Panel. Now you have already purchased your SSL certificate and we are going to use uh, the SSL certificate that I have purchased from Truehost, a premium SSL certificate, Truehost Cloud. Truehost Cloud offers a wide variety of services including domain registration, hosting, and they are in various markets like Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, India, the US, and the UK. So the SSL certificate that I have purchased is a premium one, and we want to see and learn how to install the same to our, our VPS using CyberPanel. So the requirements are, you need to have a premium SSL certificate, and at the same time, you need to have your VPS uh, and cyber panel installed. So for now, maybe we can start by logging into our VPS. So this is my VPS. Then we put the password. Then navigate to your client area, area and then go and select the SSL certificate that you have purchased. I have purchased for the domain ashford.xyz. So as you can see, it is indicating as active. So I will navigate to configure now. I want now to configure this SSL certificate. So click on configure now. So there are a number of uh, information that I need to give. And we also need SSL, uh, sorry, CSR uh, certificate. So what we will need to do, we need to generate the CSR. So there are various CSR generators online. So Today, uh, just go online, you can search for CSR generator. So let's use gogetssl.com to generate the CSR. So this is the window that will be displayed. So the, there is uh, some information that you need to fill in. So you are required to fill the name of the domain. So our domain name, we are going to use the domain name uh, ashford.xyz so this is our domain name so we navigate here uh, sorry about that so we will indicate that organization you can use this one in the organization ashford just ashford the department maybe say uh, customer customer care city can use uh, we can use the city as nairobi and then region still use nairobi email we can use the email as support at name the country here select your country let's maybe use Kenya then you click on generate CSR so as you can see our CSR has been generated so you will get both the CSR and the private key these are very very important so you, you make sure not to close this window because if you close this tab you are going to lose this information which we will need at a, at a later date so what you need to do is just copy this csr just copy ensure you have not indicated any space copy this and then go back to your client area paste uh, you can select all and then paste the csr there here, you need to choose the order type, it's a new order. Also choose the web server type, you can say any other. Scroll down. Uh, you need to indicate your details there. For me, uh, sometimes you, you will find that the details are pre-filled and others you need to give. So these are the details that you fill in and then click on continue. Give it a few seconds. Mm 
just a few more seconds. There you go. Now, you need to approve the certificate. So select the approver email and the email needs to have been created already. So you select the email that you are going to use. So you can use either admin at, these are the allowed email addresses. So the method that you are going to use uh, for approval, you can either decide to use email method of approval, HTTP, HTTPS, or DNS. So we are going to use email, and for email, the emails that are allowed is either admin at the domain name, administrator at the domain name, hostmaster, webmaster, postmaster at the domain name. So you need to have created any of these email accounts. So for me, I have already created this email account, admin at ashford.xyz. So then click continue. Give it a few few seconds. So we are waiting for this one to, to so that we be notified that the email has been sent. Uh, there you go. So as you can see, your SSL certificate configuration has been completed. So you need to you should receive an email to the email that you have selected shortly. So we go to our VPS, we go to our email. So you can come to your VPS on your left, go to email, and then list email. List emails. So we here we select the domain name, which is this one. And then under this one, we want to go to the email this particular email account so basically what we do we need to visit this email account so logging log into your email to validate the SSL so just go to emails and then click on access webmail so you need to indicate the domain name for which you want to Says the email address for which you, are, you want to access as is info sorry admin admin at admin at ashford.xyz then the password sign in you can cancel this one so this is the verification the certification authority we want just click there then copy this validation code the one highlighted this one which is highlighted in bold copy this and then click confirm validation just paste it here and then click next So we have just validated the SSL. You can close that. You can as well close this one. So we go back to our client area. We can refresh this page so that we are able to download the SSL certificate. Give it a few seconds. There you go. So we have our certificate, the CRT, the CSRs. Uh, certificate so we we go now to our vps then we go to 
the specific domain you can go to websites click on websites then list websites so this is the website for which we are installing the SSL so click on manage The scroll down so that you go to SSL add SSL click on add SSL so we are going to paste our certificate here and our key remember the key that we said that we will need so go back to your CSR generator so as to copy the private key this is the key that you want so copy this it here and then we want to paste our certificate here so we go to our client area we copy the certificate the CRT this one once you uh, click inside everything is going to be highlighted so yours is just to copy and then you paste it here and then you click save So once you are done, you will have is, is it told, yeah, this one is saved, the SSL is saved. So you need to go to the file manager. Go to the file manager of the you can go back. Go to the file manager so that you indicate, you indicate or you you, you force the SSL certificate. There's a code that you need to install or to in to add to the dot ht access file so we go to the websites again list websites yes that's what that one is loading we can go to truehost.com slash support so that we get our code can just search free if you search free you will get how to install the free SSL here under this one under this guide there is the code that we are going to add this is the, the code that we want this one which is highlighted in uh, in bold and also italicized so copy this code and then you go to your VPS go back to your VPS under the domain go to file manager Under file manager, we want to go to the public HTML folder. This is where we ought to have to have our dot ht access file. But since we do not have one, we will need to create it. So click on create. Here, type dot ht access, and then click on create file. Because you can see it is created, and then you right click on this file and then you click edit so this is where we want to paste our code for to, to force the https redirection so paste your code there and then you click on save as you can see the file is successfully saved and we are done you can close this one so you have already installed ssl certificate to premium SSL certificate to your domain so if you are to visit the domain name which is Ashford you can just copy it here from here this is our domain name if you visit this domain online you will see it has an SSL certificate just give it some time
So that is how to install SSL certificate to your our premium SSL certificate to your VPS using Cyber Panel. So be on the lookout for other guides on how to install SSL certificate, how to do other configurations to your VPS. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being our trusted client at Truth Cloud. Thank you.